10 great email marketing tutorial hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can do email marketing using sendgrid so let's get started first what you have to do is go to sendgrid.com and you will get to this platform right here sendgrid is an amazing platform very easy to use and with reasonable pricing that you can actually sign up for free it allows you to create email marketing campaigns newsletters forms and more so let's get started first what you have to do is uh, if you are a complete beginner and you need to sign up then you will go to sign up for free and then you can choose a plan there are different pricing plans available if you're going to be sending 100 emails per day then you can go with the free plan so there is no credit card required all you have to do is just enter your email address and then add your password click on i'm not a robo and then you will accept the terms of services once you do that then you will be able to create your own account on sendgrid so I have signed into my SendGrid right here. You can see this is what SendGrid looks like. This is the dashboard. Then we have email API marketing and we have this menu here that gives you all of the different features. So to get started with an email, to create an email, what you will do is you will go to the design library because we will be designing a completely new email today and we will be creating our own template. So what happens on SendGrid is that we can create our own email designs or we can choose from different templates. So here we have design library and we have your email designs. I will be able to see all of my designs that I have created. And then we have SendGrid email designs. This is where we get different templates. Now, if you're creating an email marketing campaign, we can choose a template and it actually makes our work way too easy and we can actually create it very easily and very fast. So there are different categories we can go for because of course you will be creating email marketing campaigns for your own business and it can be real estate, small business, welcome, hospitality, newsletter, seasonal, non-profit, announcement, then we have promotional, travel, fitness, recurring, contest and more. So today I am creating a promotional email. So I will go to promotional from here. And now we have all of these different templates to choose from. You can select and preview different templates. Let's go ahead and preview this one. Once you click on preview, you will be able to get a preview of the template. You can get a desktop view, a mobile view. Let's go back. Then we have this one, this one. Let's choose uh, one of these and start customizing. All right, so I will go with this one. Now, if you want to select the template, you will just select it, preview. And now I will go and create a single sign from this. Select the editor and it will open up the editor for you. And this is the template that I selected. Pretty decent looking and I like the colors. So I will customize it according to my product. So here, let me show you around the editor. We have settings and in settings, I will be able to change the text and I will be able to change different links and categories that are already added here. Second, we have built. So this is where we work if you are designing an email, how you can uh, add different modules to your email right here. You just simply drag and drop. Let's say that I want to add a text. So I will drag it and I can just drop it wherever I want to and it will be added to my email and then I can move on to the settings. Similarly, I can add different buttons, dividers, spacer, and we have social media and unsubscribe button. I can also add different tags. You can see some of the tags are already added in the template. And then we also have AB split testing. Now, AB split testing means that I can add two ads or I can add two promotional uh, emails in one. Now, let's just uh, delete this one. Let's customize our template now. So what I want you guys to do is, first of all, we have this image right here, which is a logo and this is not my logo. So what you need to do is click on edit image and it will allow you to add a URL and I can get my own URL here or I can actually upload an image. Click on edit and it will allow you to choose an image. This is the image image that has already been added I can just go ahead and insert my own image so just click on choose image and upload for now I'm just going to upload this image so let's say that I want to select this one now I have replaced my image I will click on insert image and there you go now my image has been added to my template so image was really random that is why it shows like this but you will simply add your image now I'm just going to delete this section because I do not want that Moving on, we again have this text column here and what I can do is I can actually change the text here and I'm going to just add the name for my channel. So I'm just adding a random text. Now this is the text that I have selected. I can actually go ahead and 
change the size and change the font whatever i want to do then we have this section right here so i don't mind this section now we have again an image i will click on edit image and this time i'm gonna upload an image again we already have this one but i'm gonna again choose and upload so our image has been uploaded i will select it now we have this image here in my email then we have this text right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually delete this one and i will just click on delete then we have this space and again some text let's go to build and instead of text what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a divider here okay right so we have a divider here now i'll go to build again and now i will insert a button so drag and drop the button where you want to place it there you go a button has been added i'm going to change the color for my button and i will change it to the color that we have above like a pink color so i'm just gonna like change the color okay so this looks pretty good now we have changed the color i will change the text of the button and i will change it to click here there you go perfect then we have this section here and i do not want that in my email so i will just select it and delete these sections one by one all right so this is what it looks like now we have a footer here and this is what it looks like what i will do is i'm gonna quickly go ahead and add social here at the end drag and drop where you want to place it and you will be able to see all of your socials here and now i can one by one add my links to my social similarly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a divider right here above my image so this is what my email looks like this is like a general idea for you guys and this is how we create it how we add images how i will add settings let's move on to tags so in tags right now we have all of these different tags available such as we have links and if any of the different links you will add you will be able to find them right here for example we have added facebook we have added whatsapp we have added twitter so i will be able to see here once you're done with the settings you can just click on save just to be sure and save all of these settings let's get a preview really quickly and this is what my email will look like on desktop it has a button it has the text right here the heading and then we have this section if i want to go back to design for example i see a little minor thing happening here so i'm gonna go to build so i have added some of the text here all right now it looks much better so i'm gonna just click on save perfect so this is what our email looks like we can again get a preview really quickly this is going to be the mobile preview which looks pretty good then we have a plain text click on review details and send once your email is created then you will enter your send email if you have already set up your single send then it will be really easy for you you will select a sender you can create a new sender as well enter your name subject pre-header unsubscribe group schedule categories test your email by sending it to yourself and then once you're done click on send and it will be sent to the email that to your list that you have added to send grid for now i will just click on save and not send it because i just uh, you know created it for the purpose of the video let's go back and my email will be saved with my other designs and i will be able to check it out anytime and send it anytime i like so this is my email that i just created and now i can move on to creating more emails and i can also send and create my single sense if i like so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use sendgrid for email marketing don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel